<laughs> so I'm so excited for this video. I've invented the most big brain play that you will ever see in the history of pendulums. And I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm excited. Anyway, what is this big brain play you ask? Well, you guys are just going to have to stay tuned for the whole video to find out. Let's get started on this video. Before we do, though, I'm excited for another reason as well. <laughs> so, I'm a, so i've been lifting a little bit i had to show off the gains a bit anyways i'm excited because we're about 80 subscribers away from 50,000 subscribers so can you guys if you're not subscribed can you guys stop what you're doing right now smash the subscribe button i know like half of you guys aren't subscribed we're so close and we've come such a long way 50k oh my god i would be nowhere if not for you guys i i fucking love you man you watching this i love you you guys are the reason we're all here let me know in the comments what video you guys want next and we'll do it with that being said it's time baby it's time and also while you're in the comments let me know what the best deck is and let's get started big brain press the play right now let's go <laughs> Prepare to have your mind blown. Let's go. I'm super excited to show you guys this video. Why? Because it's so big brain. Like, even for myself, even I, I literally potted myself on the back. And this knowledge you guys are about to see, whether you play pendulums or not, this knowledge could save you guys in the future from a burning building or some shit. Let's go. All right. So first things first, you look at my hand. Screw a joker. You ask your desires politely. Desires. Is it okay if you don't banish Pengraph and Scythe? And Desire says, no problem, dog. I try to do the tongue thing of the Desires. That was a little sus, my bad. But anyways, banish 10, draw two. What do we banish? Nothing. I told you, just ask politely, you're fine. In this scenario, do you normal the Joker? No, 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 no. You do not normal the Joker. 99% of people are normal Joker here. What you have to realize is you have a tuner in your hand and you have an extender. The tuner can either be Lesser Pendulum Searchable by Duelist Alliance or it can be Pencall Searching Harm Mode. Damn, I'm a genius. So, what are you going to do? We're going to pen call off the bat. They didn't Ash Desires. They don't have Ash. So you go pen call, you add a tuner, you add Celestial, and then you you want a normal Joker, but you don't. You special Chrono, you bring on Time Gazer. I told you guys, you add Desires, you ask, and you shall receive. All right, next, you get scales up so you get enough cards for Selene. Selene, bring back the Iris you discarded. Appaloosa. The only reason you put up Appaloosa, protect yourself from Nibiru. That's it. That's it. No other reason. You don't even care about Appaloosa negates. It's just to protect from Nibiru. So, now that all your plays are safe moving forward, and you guys need to stay tuned to the end of the video because it's going to blow your mind where you guys about to witness, okay? It's absolutely mandatory. And in fact, it's going to blow your mind so hard that you guys might as well just go ahead on tripgaming.com already and just go ahead and buy yourself a play map because just to save yourself the time because you're going to do it anyways and your mind is so blown. Anyways, so here, Dueling Book is being Dueling Book and I have to leave the game like 17 times to actually come back to this. And here, I'm going to go Harmo Special Poison. So now in this scenario, you're going to recognize something. I could go Sav if I, if I play Dragon Pit in the deck. This is where Dragon Pit comes up because Dragon Pit... I have a free level one in the graveyard of Tuning Magician. They can make a free Savage Dragon for nothing. So in these scenarios, Savage Dragon does come up. There's no generic Synchro I could go into. Even a Dragster could be cool. Anyways, so what we're going to do here is we're going to link those into Dagda. Okay, now here's the big brain play. You ready? You guys stay. If you can take anything from this video, here it is. You go into Tornado Dragon. Now you're like, wait a sec. Triff, this is, this is basic shit, bro. Don't worry. It's not. On your opponent's turn now. You're going to, on the draw phase, you're trying to play around every card your opponent has to make sure this play resolves. Now, this is the play I'm about to tell you guys. Ready? So, Artifact Scythe is the be-all, end-all of Pendulums. It's the be-all, end-all of Pendulum Magicians. The Artifact Scythe with Dagda, with Baron de Flor, all this stuff, this is the equivalent right now of what Needle Fiber Orodon was a year ago or two years ago. Take advantage of it before the shit gets banned. And there's no better deck in Yu-Gi-Oh to take advantage of it than this. Why? Because you protect it. I'm going to show you guys right now. What plays around Scythe, this combo? What plays around it? Dark Ruler, right? Well, Tornado Dragon does this in drop phase, so you play around Dark Ruler. What else? Chalice, Imperm, Droplets. Can we all agree? Are those the only cards that stop it, right? Chalice, Imperm, Droplets. Maybe Gamma, but you have Appaloosa, so it doesn't matter. So Gamma's done, doesn't matter. Dark Ruler, gone, doesn't matter. Sphere Mode, gone, because you're doing drop phase. Lava Golem, gone, drop phase. Kaiju, gone, drop phase. Because you get Kaiju the Needle Fiber, you're done. So you're playing through all this stuff. Now you just have Chalice, Droplets, Imperm. All right, well, anything they use, they're, they're, they're screwed. Let's say they activate Chalice. Well, Chalice and Imperm, typically you have Savage Dragon. This Purple Poison should be a Savage Dragon. So what if they have a Droplets? How do you play around Drop all that? I'm going to tell you guys right now. So this is what you do. Big Brain Play. Ready? You're going to blow your mind. So let's say they opt to Droplets the Scythe. Okay? 
So, Scythe from Graveyard, Chainlink 1, Scythe to stop you from summoning from yesterday. Uh, Triff, I would like to Chainlink 2 Droplets. Okay, so this is my Photoshop, don't laugh at it. Chainlink 2 Droplets. Chainlink 3. Flip up Time Pengraph. Effect. Pop my Celestial Magician, pop your Droplets. My opponent's gonna be like, Alright. What, do you think this is MST or something? You think this is gonna negate my Droplets? No, no, no. Read the last line of Pengraph. The last line of Pengraph says, If this effect did not destroy two cards, you can send one card in the field to the graveyard. What's Pen Call say? Pen Call says it protects my field. It protects my Pendulum Magicians. So, all in the same chain, Pendulum Graph is going to send my Artifact Scythe to the graveyard. It doesn't need to destroy. It just needs to send. Why? Why does this matter? Well, let's, let's let this chain resolve backwards. Scythe, Pengraph resolves, sending Scythe to the graveyard. Droplets in the grave doesn't matter anymore. Celestial is protected by Pen Call. Now you have to send a card in the field. You send your Scythe. Chain resolves. Droplets negate Scythe. Wait a second. Droplets is no longer on the field. Droplets says negate the effects of face of monsters on the field. It's no longer on the field. It's in the graveyard. Droplets does not resolve. Go to that last chain now to Scythe. Negate your opponent for summoning cards from the next deck. Get out of here, bro. Get I like this shirt. I'm not ripping it. But get out of here. That's how you big brain your opponent. There's nothing to stop pendulums. There's no card in Yu-Gi-Oh to stop pendulums. There's nothing you can do to stop pendulums. It's done. It's over. The duel was over the moment you decided to face pendulums. And that's it. The biggest brain play. Droplets, Trollers, Dark Ruler, they're all trash. They do nothing. Even draw. Nothing. They're all ass. They all do nothing. Pendulum best deck, guys. That's all I got to say. There's nothing your opponent could do. Even Nibiru, you had that Palooza. There's no card in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! to save you from this madness. Pen best deck. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. That's how you play around everything. By setting up pen graph. Now, wait a second. You're going to tell me, but Triff, you only play six pen calls, bro. You're not always going to set up pen call. And besides, how are you going to always get pen graph and pen call? You're not always going to do that. All right, well, let me teach you something. If they hit the tornado, you just send the tornado, same same, same result. But let me teach you guys something, all right? Let's say there's a hand where you don't have access to pen call and pen graph. This could happen. This could happen. Pendulum is the best deck, but it's not Miracle Worker. Well, guess what? Pen the Joker to your hand instead of the Time Gazer. Guess what has the same protection effect as pen call? Before I go into it, what other card in the Magician Engine has the exact same protection effect as pen call? Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me right now. That's right, baby. Time Star Magician. Let's go. And then we're going to use the Time Star. Oh, this I have friends. <laughs> Unlike you guys. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm all your friends. I You're my friend. I love you. So, Time Star. Summon Dang Dog. Oh, effect. Oh, get Joker next year. Oh, yeah. Same thing, baby. Oh, you want to droplets? You want to droplets? Is that so? Pen grab that shit away. Let's go. Time Star, protect my Celestial. Let's go. Let's go. It's so broken. It's so good. It's so good. It hurts. That's how good this is. Let me show you guys the new updated deck list really quick. So you can clap everyone with locals tomorrow. This is my... I have a tear in my eye from happiness because of how good this deck is. Actually, it's because I'm sick. That's actually... <laughs> I'm so sick, man. It's like minus 30 degrees here in Toronto. Okay, that's cap. It's like 10 degrees, but still, same thing, bro. Anyways, so we got double joker. You already know what it is. You got all these. You see this? That's all you need. That's it. Just look at it. You play it card for card. A few changes in the extra deck. We added Savage Dragon for that exact reason that you guys saw. Dragon Pit and Savage is very nice with the Tuning Magician. If we main deck this Dragon Pit, you could get that. But, like, it's mainable, but maybe. If you want to. You don't need it because you can win anyways. That's crazy. We are still playing one luster. Reason why. If you open one of your extenders and don't have access to a tuner, Alliance searches a tuner. If you don't have access to Harmo, Alliance searches the luster. And you're good. You make Ignister, you're good if you want to, or you just make needle fiber. You're just trying to make needle fiber here. Alliance now searches a tuner, which is great. If you don't want if you have already a pen call, if it gets ash, anything like that, it's important to have tuners to get needle fiber off. If needle fiber resolves, you win the duel. That's all you need to know. That's it. Pen best deck. That's all you need to know. That's it. If you can take one thing from this video, it's that pen best deck. But you don't need this video for that because you already know that. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like what you see, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. I want you guys to smash the like button. And lastly, I want you to do yourselves a massive favor. Go on tripgaming.com. Get the most beautiful play mats in the game before they're all sold out. They're all on sale right now. Go again. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.